So we are kicking off beer month with a splash. Perhaps the best known and probably easiest beer cocktail there is. We're kicking it off with a shandy. And a couple variations thereof. So definitely stay tuned for that. Um, but we'll go ahead and get started. And the beautiful thing about the shandy is you don't need ice. Um, all your ingredients should be fairly cold. Um, and so that makes it very, very easy to mix. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do this. Um, I'm helping here. <laughs> get this started. So this is the OG Shandy, mm -hmm. and that is one part lemonade to one part beer. That's pretty much it, so. It's like the boozy Arnold Palmer. Pretty much. <laughs> and just and top it And we're just it using off. a really, it doesn't look like Corona, but it basically is. Um, it's just a standard sort of Mexican style lager. You could probably use pretty much any light beer for this one, right? I imagine so, yeah. I mean, you could probably uh, even do Budweiser if you wanted to. Uh, if that happened to be in your fridge, whatever you drink. Well, that's it's the all point. Good. I mean, I think that's the thing about the, the Rattler, excuse me, the Shandy, is that it's such a simple cocktail that you could just really use what you have. Yeah, absolutely. Meanwhile, so, give it a drink. That is really good. Yeah, it's really thirst quenching. As we start to go into spring and summer, you could drink these yeah. for like six months straight and be totally fine. I mean, I think the other thing is, you know, it's a fairly light beer. It's four and a half percent ABV, and now that's half that, half right? That, right. So it becomes a low ABV cocktail. It's, I mean, it just begs to be sort of by the oh, pool side. Oh, so good. I can, you can't tell, but a palm tree just sprung up right over mm. there. I think there's a, is that a hammock? Yeah, I'm I out. think it might be. <laughs> But this is absolutely a great poolside sipper if you go on a river anywhere or on the beach and they allow alcohol. I mean, well, it technically looks like lemonade, so. That's true. But it is very refreshing. Very sneaky. Can you give me that? Mm, so that's good. That's a winner. Yeah. So that's basically the shandy. Um, and there is definitely opportunity here to kind of experiment, try some different beers. Um, but also when you make lemonade, it's fresh lemon juice simple syrup and water. So that simple syrup you could really infuse with a bunch of different flavors. So if you want to go botanical, That's true. you do like a rosemary or There's a so ginger. I mean, it really is a big platform yeah. uh, to experiment with because it's so simple. It leaves so much room to uh, to adapt to. So much room for activities. Yep, so shall we go on to the next one? Uh, you tell me. <laughs> so you pick. <laughs> pick your poison. Why do I feel next. like this is going to end badly? I, I got it. I got it. We got to try the Fanta. All right, the Fanta. I'm looking at it. It's bright orange staring at me. Look at this. You even got the glass bottle. This is like... Fancy. Fancy. Yeah, absolutely. So I think the name for this one, I can't remember the regional, uh, which region it was. I want to say it was like maybe uh, Central America somewhere, um, but it was called something... Fan Shop. That's what it was. Fan, Fan Shop. Fan Shop. I like the idea of this one because you've got the sparkling element in the Fanta as well as the beer. Mm -hmm. So while this one, you lost you lost a little bit of that sort of sparkle in the Shandy. Um, I'm expecting this one to still have its turn. Oh, look at that. Get, um, it just looks like Fanta still. It does. I'm just going to give it a quick mix here. because Nobody's going to look at this and assume it's beer. I'm just saying you could probably get away with a lot. It kind of just tastes like Fanta. <laughs> It just tastes like watered down Fanta to me. It's actually pretty good. It's pretty yeah. good, but I wouldn't, like if you handed that to me and told me it was Fanta, I'm not sure I would disagree with you. Yeah, it doesn't have a lot of like interest to it. Yeah. It just kind of tastes like a mellow soda. Um, you add a little bit of lemon juice in there or maybe even like a tangerine juice in it's there. It's gonna be hard to get over that sweetness. It's, yeah. It's got that sort of like fake tangerine. It's, I mean, it's Fanta, it tastes like Fanta. That's, that's what it tastes like, it tastes like Fanta. But, I don't know how you could possibly like add flavor in a way that would overcome the Fanta. Mm, that is like <laughs> interesting. All right, your choice. All right, I'm going for the I'm going for the grenade here. So <laughs> this one caught my eye, and it's half beer, half coke. It sounds absolutely terrible, and I was intrigued. Um, He's gonna, he thinks of, to himself, wow, that sounds terrible. Let's try it. Let's make Julia drink that. For science. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what was this one called? This one is called, I think it was uh, a diesel? It sounds about right. Yeah. So uh, that should tell you all you need to know. So where's this one from? Do you remember? I, I want to say this was like Eastern Europe uh, somewhere, but we'll have to definitely check that out. In the, I'm not even going to fill this up because... I'd rather drink the beer. That's a bad thing to do that beer. Ooh, it's gonna be sparkling. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be sweet. Mm-hmm. 
Now, um, one thing you may have noticed is that we're using the same beer for all of these, which of course is a little bit of a cheat. Um, you know, you can certainly customize based on what you what you would like you your chances. Ladies first. <laughs> Marriages are based on trust. <laughs> not this one. But yeah, you can try different beers in this. Um, try oh, that's different. Awful. So <laughs> my turn. That is not the best thing I've ever tasted. Not good. Why? Like on purpose? Oh, that's super not good. Yeah. <laughs> it kind of tastes, well, I mean, it tastes exactly like what it's made of. It tastes like sort of cola-y beer, but, yeah. but in a very sort of half. Yeah, it's like, like really. Like mute, muted cola with a kind of a weird beer aftertaste. You know what it tastes like? It tastes like a really like muted down, terrible off, like off-brand Coke. Is mm. what it tastes like to me. It's got like this weird taste. It um, tastes like Coke when they're running out of syrup in the machine. Ah, uh, okay, I can see that. Yeah, but not in a good way. Not, there not was in a good, good way. way. Yeah. So yeah, that's the diesel. Um, so before is it separated. Before I uh, we did this live, I actually took a bunch of photos for the for the blog and everything else. Um, and the one thing about this particular drink is it literally starts to separate. Like not a, but not in a weird like way where you can see like beer and Coke. It's like sediment falls out of it and it like clings to the glass and it gets really clumpy. I what wish I still had it. Possible? What kind of sediment could possibly come out? It's got to be maybe the, the syrup in there, like the all the um, I don't know. stuff in there. I'm not yeah, seeing very much gross. of it. I'm seeing some little, oh yeah. There it is. It's hard to see. Yeah. You're not missing much. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and say it. I would say, um, you know, save your beer. Yeah. From this horrible thing. Or save thing. your Coke. Actually, Coke. The two of them together. Not so good. <laughs> this is not greater than the sum of its parts, <laughs> I would say it is significantly less. So right. there you are, the diesel. Um, um, would not recommend to a friend. <laughs> All right, so the last one here, and I have high hopes for this, saving one of the best for last, is something that is a tried and true recipe, and that is the Rattler. Um, if you go to Whole Foods or any of these kind of higher end grocery stores, you may have actually seen a brand that sells Rattlers and they're delicious. Yeah, I mean, I, you'll often see Rattlers in the beer aisle, um, and it's literally exactly what we're making here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There you go. Cleanse your right. palate on that guy. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, we're not gonna be focusing on Shandies uh, all month. Uh, we thought this would be a nice intro I love this. into Shandies. Uh, no, or this into is beer cocktails. Uh, this one has, <laughs> excuse me, I'm gonna talk about this cocktail. <laughs> I need to get the taste out of my mouth <laughs> from the Coke. You so threw bad. us under this bus, for the record. This one I think is a great cocktail. Oh, Again, your so grapefruit better. flavor is Ooh. a pretty dominant flavor in this one, not a huge beer flavor. Again, we're using a pretty light beer too. Mm -hmm. um, but the bitterness from the grapefruit is really, really nice. Again, the fruit comes through. Um, I would rank these one, two, what? three, <laughs> a thousand. <laughs> That wasn't being good, right? Actually, the Fanta Angry. Beer. Yeah, yeah, it's not. It's not the best. I um, would say these two are better than the sum of their parts. These two, I would probably rather just drink the Fanta and beer separately. Yeah, and uh, what was really interesting is um, you mentioned a little bit about the carbonation, and there are regional variations where mm -hmm. you use San Pellegrino in different flavors. Oh. So if you have like a sparkling lemonade, that's called something slightly different, or a, a sparkling grapefruit juice. Um, mm -hmm. It's called something so slightly different. Um, but this is another way you can really start to experiment and have some fun. Mm -hmm. um, stay away from the, the sodas. Um, <laughs> there are there are a couple of cocktails that I, or beer cocktails that I've seen in the group where people add a little bit, like a Sprite or something like that to it. Um, and that's just to add a little bit of sugar. It's not kind of the main focus like these two. Yeah, I think the but, problem oh, here is that you see it. Oh, is it going? Oh, yeah, oh, look at that. It's, it's chunky. Ooh. I don't know how or why. This looks like an exhibit in an aquarium. <laughs> oh, it's so gross. Okay, we're going to have to post some photos. <laughs> it's so bad. Not safe for work. <laughs> Ooh. I spin it and the sediment doesn't move. Yeah, no, it's really bad. Ooh, that's delightful. Um, So let's talk a little bit about what else you could do. Um, because obviously you've got your juices yeah. and you've got your sodas, but there's a lot of other things. I mean, you just talked about San Pellegrino. Mm -hmm. What about like a white claw or something like that? You could totally do that. Yeah, I don't know if it would be in that same kind of class, um, but it is kind I'm of a carbonated, classy. I know, right? It is a carbonated 
alcohol. So you can definitely start to substitute some of those in. Mm -hmm. uh, LaCroix you can add in there. Um, there's a lot of different variations yeah. you can do with this. Um, I think we started a thread um, about good beer cocktails. Yes, there was a thread a couple days ago I posted about just what beer cocktails people are drinking. There's some amazing inspiration there's there. Some great stuff. And actually, I think we're stealing some ideas for a couple of our cocktails later this month. So stay right. tuned for that. Definitely. Some great ideas in there. Um, I think this was um, a, uh, a success. Yeah, I, if you want to call it that. <laughs> I, I Again, I think this is this is great. I love how we sampled a couple different things here. It seems like the message that I'm hearing is stay away from the super sweet sodas. Yep. They just overpower the beer and it ends up just getting weird. Yeah. Um, the juices both worked really nicely. Um, I could see if you want to retain some of your sparkling, look into sparkling juices. Absolutely. Like, even a, like a sparkling apple juice, I could see working oh, really nicely. That really good, a yeah. sparkling lemonade. Um, that's the only downside of, of these two is that you lose a lot of that carbonation because obviously half of it doesn't have any carbonation anymore. So that's the only thing I would Perfect. say. So thanks again for joining us for Shandies. Um, I will be the first to admit that not all these Shandies were created equally. Um, I would probably go ahead and stick with the natural juices um, and stay away from the sodas. They were pretty, well, they weren't to my taste for sure. <laughs> That's a very nice way to put it. To each his own. Right. But Drink what you like. We'll probably stick with these. Right. <laughs> Here in the market for some barware, the month of March, we have our fancy schmancy jigger on deal, 15% off through the rest of the month. You can find it over at shop.abarabove.com. And uh, if you didn't catch it before, it's a little bit better, just a little tiny bit better than everybody else. And uh, by that, I mean exactly one quarter of an ounce better on both sides. Got a quarter ounce measure on the little side and one and a quarter on the big side. So like I said, a little bit biased, but it's pretty awesome. So thank you for joining us. Uh, let us know in the comments what you are drinking. I would love to hear what kind of shandy you like to drink. And in the meantime, I'm taking this one. I got this one. Cheers, Cheers. everyone.